Well, hey there, everybody. I'm glad I don't have an accent like that, but if you do, I still love you. I just am glad I don't. So, uh, tons of new stuff, guys. It's really, uh, it's pretty lit. Yeah, that's what the kids are saying, right? Lit? <laughs> New character, another new character, uh, America Chavez. Uh, she's gonna be super good for brawlers. And uh, we're just gonna talk about her, kinda like, we're gonna look at this kit, kinda like, I wanna like, I guess just kinda theorize the best team that she would be best with. And um, we're gonna look at some footage. Uh, she'll be playing right here. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool and pretty exciting. And uh, she's just gonna be great, guys. Like, just great. I think she's actually going to be really good. I mean, the Brawler faction is already very good, so I think adding her in is going to make the Brawler teams even better, which is, I mean, they're pretty good. I would say they're a solid, like, non-meta team, like, right below the meta teams. Like, that's where Brawlers are. So, we got her. We got some cool images of her. We got some gameplay of her. It's pretty lit. I don't know why I keep saying that. Let's see, How does, uh, what does this say? Born in a utopian parallel universe, America Chavez possesses super strength, speed, flight, and the power to create star-shaped portals with her kicks. <laughs> what a weirdly specific power. Yeah, I can kick and do star stuff. Hiya! As a member of Strike, America Chavez, High damage, enemy positive effect clearing brawler who amplifies ally hero brawler's stats. What kind of sentence is that? Enemy positive effect clearing brawler. So pretty much, I mean, you could see it. Um, what she's going to do is she's going to apply defense down on her basic, which is awesome. Really, really good. Then her special called Shooting Star. They all have like star stuff in them. That's cute. So she's going to attack primary target for 300% damage plus 75% damage per hero brawler ally, which is pretty sick, right? Because an additional 75% per brawler ally is going to be an extra 300%. So that means that her special ability can hit for 600% damage if she's on a full brawler team. So that's pretty cool uh, that she's going to be able to do that. Um, it's pretty lit, I think. I keep saying lit. I don't know if it's because she's a star, because she has star things. I just keep saying lit because it's on my mind, but I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Don't unsub because I'm saying lit. Uh, her ultimate ability is a Starling Highway. Clear three positive effects and attack primary target for 430% damage. I don't know what the heck that means. Is she clearing three positive effects off of herself? Or is she clearing it off the target? Because it doesn't say target. So is she just clearing is that up two, three? Is that... I, I don't know. I mean, we have to guess that that is on the enemy, right? So you're going to clear three positive effects off of them. But it doesn't say clear three positive effects off of target enemy it just says clear three positive effects i don't know what that means i'm gonna assume that it's off the target enemy if it's not you can read what fox next sent me so that's all i'm saying uh attack primary target for 430 percent damage after that i don't know that seems pretty good uh animations are cool i i can live with it your passive gain 20 percent max health hero brawler allies gain 20 percent max health simple but Potent. So this will give like characters like, uh, you know, uh, in my mind, the footage shows using Daredevil and Iron Fist on this team, which I would not use because why would you ever break up the defenders for this team? You could have two teams, defenders and brawlers. Why would you ever break them up? That doesn't make any sense to me. We're going to talk about the ideal teams that she could probably fit in after this. We haven't got to it yet, but we will. And, uh, you know, it's going to give them extra health. So even just imagining Miss Marvel with an extra 20% health, she's got a lot of health as it is. And so just imagine just 20% extra. So what we're going to do now is just check out and see, I guess, like what, what we could kind of view as like the ideal team. And notice, just like Miss Marvel, it's hero brawler synergy. It's not just regular brawler. So let's check it out. We're gonna hop into Blue Stacks. So it's just we're hopping into the game here, right? And it's just I don't know. For me, like I sat here for a few minutes and try to figure out, like, okay, who is gonna be the best team to use here? And I don't really know. It's gonna be really hard to not break up other teams 
And so what I mean by that is, so it's like, yeah, okay, so like Spider-Man and Miles are probably really good. And then, you know, Iron Fist and Daredevil are also really good. Um, but it's like that breaks up other key teams. You don't want to break up a Spider-Verse team. You don't want to break up a Defenders team. So I figure kind of like what I came up with is guaranteed like good would be Gamora because nobody really uses her with Guardians. And uh, I like Deadpool. I know some people use him with like a mercenary team, but I like him with this team. I think this team performs much better than that. And so then if you have America Chavez and you have miss marvel then you still have one open slot and that's kind of the hard part here because there's a ton of brawlers and it just depends on what you want to do so what i'm thinking is that it leaves you with two options right so most people have a pretty strong black panther and not a lot of people have shuri the uh, the what kind of team is kind of underwhelming so you could grab black panther and use him here with this team i think that that's certainly a fine option maybe not the best one but it's certainly a fine option if those circumstances relate to you. But then also what we see is that, so we have the pretty powerful military team, right? And that one's got Black Widow, Captain America, Iron Man, War Machine, Captain Marvel. But the power armor team is much more significant than the military team right now, it seems. And so if you have the power armor team that ends up using War Machine, Falcon, Iron Man, Rescue, then you end up Captain Marvel is not going to be with that military team anymore because it's power armor team, right? So it may be beneficial to toss Captain Marvel in this. You could have Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, Deadpool, Gamora, and America Chavez. That could end up being the best team or more brawlers yet could come. But I think right now that's the team I'm going to try out. That's the one I'm going to use in Blitz when we have access to America Chavez. I'll try it in Raids and Alliance War. And that seems like it's probably the best bet. And I guess we'll find out as time goes on. But that's really what I'm thinking. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts uh, in the comments below, let me know what you think. Um, it's just hard because I know I usually use Wolverine in a brawler team, but he's going to be used with the X-Men team now. And you don't want to break up other teams because if you break up a good team to make a less like a less strong team, it's kind of like, well, what's the point? Why did you do that? So that's just kind of how that is. That's my opinion. That's my thought. I would love to know what your guys is. And in the meantime, leave a like on the video. Make sure you smash subscribe button, uh, Patreon link, and Discord link in the description below. That's all I got for you guys today. So double video posting because we got a ton of info from Fox Next and I didn't want to try and cram it all into one big anus long video. So here we are, guys. Here it is. Bye.